Okay, very welcome back to our channel. And uh, once again, we continue our discussion with the NG Spice, which is free, or in other words, open source circuit simulator. And it's a mixed modes level circuit simulator. So here is the home page of the NG Spice. You can simply open the Google browser and type ng spice and then click and then it will lead you to this web page of ng spice so in this module i will explain you about how we can download and install the ng spice release so here is some information on how to download the ng spice uh, here is the quick introduction so if you are using the ms windows operating system or linux so you have both the uh, procedures explained here. So we will talk about uh, download and installation of ng-spice on the MS window platform. So here it, you can see that it is asked, here is the file given that is named as ng-spice-42 underscore 64 dot zip. So I will click on this file. So that's the very first file. Once I click that, I get to this web browser and here it is written that there is this ng, file, ng spice file. So here is the option. So I will click here, download the latest version and the download is going to start shortly. So as you can see that the download has now started. Once the download has started, it will ask you where you can store the file and all that things so you see this is a zip file actually that is 7z file uh ng spice uh, dash 42 underscore 64 so for example i can uh, take the directory let's say local directory or local disk d and here I have already downloaded this file and this is that file ng spice dash 42 underscore 64. So it is only a demonstration for the showing you. I am uh, showing it again, right? It is already downloaded. Now you see there is this special icon because I have a keycad software installed on my computer. Otherwise, when you will download it, you will have a normal folder icon for this file. Okay, so I will not uh, click save because I have already downloaded it, that file. It is a 7z file. So you need to unzip it. Okay, so I will just click cancel. Now how to unzip that file? So if you already have a unzip software installed on your computer, you can simply right click on the folder that you have just saved and downloaded which is this file just right click over here and there must be option to extract that uh, all those files contained inside this uh, ng spy zip file but since i don't have in uh, don't have the software installed to unzip the files what i did i took a online help and i use the uh, software for example right here extract 7z file okay this is the software i just uh, typed on the google okay do it online so there is this uh, easy zip website or you can use any other software and then what i did is uh, i clicked here and after clicking here i selected this file and i said open and then it started uh, uh, it, it uploaded that file here and then when I clicked uh, like save all, so it started saving your files and then you actually have to uh, select the folder. Right, so uh, what I'm trying to say here, once you upload that uh, ngspy zip file on using this software, you can see that uh, there is this folder spy64 actually. So what you do, click uh, save all, and then it starts saving file. Then on the D directory itself, I created a new folder named as ng-spice. And then uh, with ng-spice selected, this spice64 uh, folder, I, I just say that uh, this is my folder, ng-spice is this folder, I selected that folder, and it started now saving uh this uh, all files uh, into that folder okay so and 
this is just I'm repeating it just to show you right right now it is just saving all those files so I will not do it right now repeatedly but I just said that okay in the ng spice I have got this spy 64 folder as you can see that okay now if you click here inside that you got these uh, folders like bin docs examples and lib share etc so here if you click the leap uh, you got ng spice folder you again click it and you got all these uh, model files uh, for the analog digital bc bjt and all those things are there okay so i will take you back to the ng spice uh, web page so we go back here because we have downloaded the file and we are back to the home page of the ng spice so after that what i have done is uh i want to uh, <clears throat> like uh, it as it's mentioned here it says after you download this uh, zip file expand the contents of the zip file to an arbitrary location on your computer so we chose the d drive okay uh, it says you should have read and write access to the location if not run in the admin mode for example d drive so we have chosen a d drive let me show you again. So you see here we have a local disk D and in that this file got extracted into this folder named as ngspice. So inside the ngspice we have got this spice 64 and then we have got all these folders right here. So that's our path as highlighted. Now uh, we can also download the GUI. Uh, that is shown below. So what is the GUI? We will see that. And after we download that GUI, we can expand its content into this folder, spy64 slash bin. Do we have that folder? We can see that. So you see the, we are in the spy64 and then you have a bin. So what I have done here, uh, I just click on the GUI, uh, excuse me. And then uh, let's say, in the D drive, you got this uh, ng spy start. So I have already done that. Again, it is a zip file. So you need to unzip it and extract the contents inside it. So I have just shown you for the demonstration. So I will not save it again. Rather, I would cancel it. So again, the icon for this uh, ng spy start and this the main module, uh, that is a keycad because I have that installed in my computer if you don't have keycad installed here then you these icons will be just like these icons normal folder icons so i will clap cancel here again i extracted all the contents from the gui file and then i put all those contents that are into this folder spice slash bean so let me show you what those contents are so I am in this folder now, then I am in the bean folder, and these are the extracted content from this file, ngspice and ngspice underscore con. So what you can do, download has been done, and now uh, you, you actually can install uh, it. So I clicked here ngspice, for example, and you see now this is some, uh, uh error that is coming here but uh, i don't need to uh, think about it as i can see that so i will just click okay again it says okay i will just click okay and finally i see i have got this uh, gui it says that uh, error library lib couldn't be loaded table cm couldn't be loaded but now from here you see it is a circuit level simulation program compiled with klu direct license solver there is this uh, uc cad group copyright copyright and then here you see that you got this ng spice one and with the arrow so here you can write your directory or the name of the file you want to execute so when you write your spice file in which circuit interconnections and information about the circuit, the model files, information about the model and model parameters are contained, you can simply call that file here, right? You can, we, have, we will see that in the next session, but right now you just say, and uh, then you press enter and this software will execute your SPICE file, which usually has the extension of .cir or .sp. 
So for example, I have this uh, diode CIR file. We'll see that in the next model. But right now the focus is on, we have successfully downloaded and installed the ng-spice, which is a command-based circuit simulator. Uh, we don't really have the GUI to draw the schematic uh, in the ng-spice. But we would have third-party interface tools, for example, KiCad, which we can use to draw the schematic and generate the SPICE netlist, which subsequently can be used with ng-spice. We can call that nest netlist right here in this ng-spice program and then execute and then print and plot the results and do various analysis. So it's a quite powerful free simulator with a lot of advances embedded and a lot of uh, a lot of tools available in this easy free open source software so we'll now uh, we can see that there are options ready stop quit so for example uh, we can click stop uh, then we can quit so that's it so we have uh, shown you how you can download and install the ng spice uh, from the internet okay so like i said after we have downloaded the gui it is shown below click here so this is exactly uh, what we have uh, downloaded right here but uh, we don't really uh, we, we don't uh, or we couldn't see these all these uh, notations in our downloaded version so it says that uh, a simple GUI for starting ng-spice and plotting is available here along with its source code. So why not just uh, click here and we'll see what it gives us. So ng-spice starts, it's the same file actually, right? It's the same file, so you just click here. I am selecting hit here, so it will just do that again. You can choose replace or something like that. Once you have that file uh, is done, is is done there. So let us check. You see now the keycard is being opened, but that's something I don't want. So I will close it for a moment. This card changes. So I will go back to my folder where it is installed. Uh, right now, here in this folder. Yeah ng spice start so i had to extract the files of this uh, zip file so what i have done i have used the uh, this this software you see the main ng spice uh, that we have explained earlier it is still saving those files so you can again open that uh, use this software to call upon this file and extract its content and then after extraction you simply have created this folder inside spy 64 and inside bin put those contents as it is shown here and then you are done with the installation.